think all our parents are concerned about how they can help their little ones in learning and developing important skills as early as possible. But they feel very lost about the hows and the whats. Yes, absolutely. Especially when our parents hear that children's experiences in their first five years have been shown to have significant impact on their developmental outcomes later on. And as a result, it is important for our parents and those who work with children to understand exactly what happens during these early stages of development. This allows them to meet a child's needs effectively and ensure that they have the best start in life. Hi, I'm Isha. And I am Anuja. And today we will continue our discussion on developmental areas, focusing on PSED and communication development. Wait, 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 wait. What's PSED? <laughs> so PSED stands for Personal, Social and Emotional Development, an important aspect to lead healthy and happy lives, which is fundamental to children's cognitive development. Also, it's important to know PSED doesn't happen in isolation and children need you to provide them with positive feedback and to model appropriate behavior. So basically, you are the best support that you can provide to your child in setting their PSED. So let's discuss a few activities for PSED. One very important and very basic is letting them set routines. So letting them brush their teeth, letting them wake up. So of course they can't wake up, but wake up on their own after their first wake up call. Letting them decide their own dress code, letting them do small, small things that we do on a daily basis. That really, really gives them a boost for personal growth. Then next thing is labeling emotions. So what happens is our children are very unaware of what these emotions are, how to categorize them, how to label them, how to talk about them. So when a parent helps the child or when the parent talks about these emotions with the child, they really boost their emotional development. They are also aware that this emotion is fine to feel certain things, to be emotional about, sentimental about certain things is okay. Next thing is your role playing. So role playing I feel is very important for any child to dive into because what role playing does is it not only is a fun game and fun activity but it really helps them to get into the shoes of somebody else take up responsibility like that person take up social uh, responsibility understand the, that person's emotions understand that person's personal development so role playing is one great activity that all of you should try then next thing is bring out some photographs you know photographs of our grandparents of our like when parents are young the the aunts uncles siblings any pictures that you have so what you do is when you start showing those photographs to the children they start uh, developing the sense of relationships they start understanding who is who and how they are related to they also see another side of you being the child like the parent being the child so one more important thing is talking and listening to your child what happens is when our babies are young sometimes we get distracted sometimes we don't pay too much attention to when they are babbling but it's very important for the child to know that they are being heard even if they're not making sense just have to uh, be there, listen to them, respond to them, respond to even the smallest babbles as much as possible. Next thing is creating a den. So uh, again, a fun thing to do with the cushions and bed sheets that you have. You can just bring it on and create a den, create a space for them. So what they know is that this is their area and then you can play with them, you can interact with them. You can in fact have food also some nights with them like a camping thing. You can in even include their friends and bring them on inside this space. So this is also another uh, big boost to their personal area and understanding of personal space. Very connected to this is please try to incorporate a lot of play dates with other kind of kids. So what happens is when your child meets other kids, they start bonding, they start developing relationships, which is again a very important part of uh, social development, which is to be able to interact and yeah, in the beginning, they will have a little hard time where they'll not be able to be completely okay with sharing their toys or uh, talking to the other kids. 
but it's okay like let's just start this entire process another thing which i feel is very important is our kids are you know like they're immature they have just started to experience a lot of things they don't know what's right and what's wrong and uh, instead of uh, punishing them instead of getting agitated or annoyed at that time it's good to talk to them about okay. what's an acceptable behavior and what's an unacceptable behavior because talking really helps punishing or any kind of a negative feedback or negative emotion expression is something that the child will never relate to so please talk to your child uh, get it into your routine in fact and uh, try to talk to your child about this is unacceptable and why is it unacceptable acceptable what are the consequences of these actions and lastly i think uh, which you should definitely try is letting them come to you for ideas or giving you some ideas so if you want to do a task you can always include your child into how do you how should you come out of it so what it does is it boosts their self esteem it makes them also feel important so another thing that this will do is it will make them understand that they can also come to you for help or they can also ask for help these are very basic things that we are telling you but they're also very important in letting your child develop their personal social and emotion because uh, these are the aspects that somewhere we lack out on yeah it's good that as early as you start practicing this around your child they will also grow in such a way what do you suggest wow i think this was like a lot of good and useful information right. and uh, i totally agree that you know when you say that some things and some traits such as physical development emotional development personal development social mm-hmm. development as early as, as on that it's built it mm-hmm. really really helps the child you know to grow in the right direction right so that was about psad moving on to our next the stage of area development we are now going to talk about learning and communication development babies start communicating from the very moment that they are brought into the world from their first cry babies communicate with you through non verbal means of communication until they begin talking between you know the ages of 12 to 18 months or even later initially through crying and different sounds your baby tells you that they are hungry that they need a diaper change or they are upset or feeling unwell babies love to watch faces so a few activities you know that you can cater to in order to enhance their language and communication is that you know we've realized that babies really love to watch faces yeah. so the more that you're going to talk to them you know in an expressive way with mm-hmm. full of emotions and cuddles they are really going to you know try and reciprocate to that right very initial in you know their early stages they might not be able to respond hmm. but that doesn't mean that we do not talk to them the more you are going to talk to them the more you know babies are going to feel the urge of talking gradually over time they will start responding even if it's through just one word or through their face expressions but that change really happens and it happens fast early on the ages yeah uh, another you know thing that they can do is sing nursery rhymes make mm-hmm. them hear those songs you know the number songs the letter songs songs that have animal characters songs you know that have a, a lot of fruit names or vegetable names so this you know helps them to retain these so if i'm singing you know the alphabet song i'm telling them that a stands for apple and b stands for ball even though they are not able to speak or they are not able to you know memorize it they are definitely retaining it in their memory system right. so eventually you know when they start growing when they start talking it really helps their entire language process to you know mm. function very smoothly for these kids so another thing you know that parents can do is read a lot of books books that you know have like large pictures very bold fonts so even though the child at a very young age is not understanding hmm. the child can you know relate to those visual images right so if you know there's this big apple which is colored in red and it has like the letter a written in that red they start associating a with apple and red to the color hmm. so this also you know really helps boost their communication and language skills another thing you know i've noticed is when kids are younger parents tend to talk 
in the baby voice yeah. right so if they are using like another slang for maybe the word milk or they are using another a uh, kid word you know for the word water parents tend to continue that to a very very long yeah. time which really doesn't help hmm. so the more you know you start to talk to your child in like a proper adult you know language tone it really helps them sink in those kind of words so words like toilet milk water food books you know which we really use in our day to day yeah. lives you know words like diaper for example so instead of using like a baby word if you start you know using those adult words right. it's always better for the child that way so another thing you know which really helps uh, kids uh, you know improve their speech proficiency is to do motor exercising right so activities such as lip massages blowing bubbles pursing your lips or even smiling you know in the right way it really helps the child to speak clearly and proficiently in the near future right so that's another very very important thing to be done another thing is you know uh, to start pointing out to things labeling them and talking yeah. so if i'm talking to the child and if i'm telling the child oh is it the milk that you want or is it the water that you want so if i'm going to point out to the milk bottle and say that's the milk or this is the water or this is your diaper the child is going to start associating it yeah so these are you know like a few things that if you know you start them early on it really helps them build their language proficiency yeah so i think they all were very important points there's another debate uh, that is uh, what language should you talk to your child in should it be english should it be the mother tongue what do you suggest you know according to me it really doesn't matter what really matters is how fluently and how proficiently can your baby respond and communicate right. so if you know it's starting in your own mother tongue mm-hmm. it is absolutely okay you don't really you know need to force your child to talk in a particular language say for example english or in any other language right even if the child learns to you know read and write in its own mother tongue and yeah. then you know gradually moves on to english being the third language or the fourth language it is absolutely okay another thing that i have really noticed is you know parents really hesitate to teach more than one language to the child right. so the parent will be like if my child is right now learning my mother tongue my child cannot do english yeah. if my child is learning english then i have to refrain from you know teaching my child maybe say french or german or my mother tongue but that surely is not the matter yeah. it is it is very important and to understand that children have the ability in them to you know take up to four or five languages in one go so if you all are teaching your child more than one language it is absolutely okay do not doubt your child they definitely have the capacity and the capability to sink in more than one language in one go that's it i think for today's video we'll be coming soon with uh, the next two developmental areas till then stay tuned and we'll see you next time Take care.